Right, so today I'm checking out this 1980s Hona Arbor Series Les Paul. Um, this was made in Korea. I've dated it to roughly around 88, 89. It's quite hard to get a date on these. There's not a lot of information on the internet and a serial number, I don't know if you can see it there, don't really give a lot away in terms of the date. So yeah, the best I could narrow it down to was 88, 89. Um, yeah, these are made in Korea. They've got a plywood body, which doesn't bother me. It's, it's a good weight to it. It's not, you know, one of them things that breaks your back. It's got a nice weight to it. It's got the belly contour. The belly cut for the middle-aged guitarist. Yeah, two humbucking pickups. Uh, Three-way control switch. Master volume tone control for each pickup. Um, it's got your tunematic stop tail bridge binding all around the edge of the body again it's got that cutaway which looks really nice bolt on neck again I actually prefer bolt on necks to set ones so if you have any problems you can just whip it off and get a new neck on no problem uh, rosewood fingerboard I'm not sure what the neck is uh, material wise um, I'll probably guess maybe mahogany uh, rosewood fingerboard 22 frets, medium jumbo frets. Uh, it looks like it's got a nine and a half inch radius fingerboard. Again, got that binding all around the neck and the headstock with sort of a, a Gibson-esque headstock and uh, modern style tuners. All painted down the back of the neck as well. Really nice feel to it. Got a nice um, sort of C profile neck, not too chunky. Uh, condition wise, this is obviously 30 plus years old and it is pretty much pristine there's a bit of yellow into the two humbuckers there these are pretty hot humbuckers as well but, um, a couple of little scratches on the back as you'd expect but it is pretty minty fresh the, um, the bloke who used to own this passed away and a lot of his guitars got sold off so this really got used by the looks of it the frets are very minimal wear it is in minty fresh condition. Um, I dig 70s, 80s guitars. They really are well made. This would give any modern um, Epiphone at least a good run for its money in terms of sound, playability and build quality. Um, I only paid uh, I think £60 for this. So there's some bargains to be had out there. These really are great guitars. Again, don't worry about the plywood body. You don't see it anyway. They uh they do resonate well. But um yeah, I reckon uh plug her in and uh see what she sounds like. Okay, so I've got it all plugged in now, all tuned up. Um I'm gonna go through all the three different playing positions, playing a mixture of clean, uh distorted and um lead. So I'm gonna start off playing clean. This is on the neck position. Okay, so this is on to the middle position now, so both the humbuck is working together. It's just that bridge pick up on its own now.
Okay, so on to some heavier stuff now, so back to the neck pickup. <laughs> Okay, it's on to the middle position now. pick up on its own now. So there you go, that was the Hona Arbor Series uh, Les Paul. Um, just a quick uh, bit of history on Hona, because a lot of people seem to think they're a Hofner ripoff, but Hona have actually been making instruments since uh, the mid 1800s. Uh, they're a German brand, so yeah, just so everybody knows, they're great guitars as well, especially these Arbor Series. I know they do them in sort of strats and other sorts of things made through the 80s and early 90s. But yeah, I dated this one to around late 88, 89. So if anybody can update me, if anybody knows any more info, because there's not a lot about these on the internet, and they really are good guitars. So yeah, again, you've got that cool looking headstock, modern style tuners, rosewood fingerboard with the binding around the edges, 24.75 scale, medium jumbo frets, 22 frets, two hot humbuckers, you're starting to go a bit yellow. Uh, volume and control switch for each pickup. Tunematic bridge, stop tail piece. Plywood body, which is contoured and got the the middle-aged guitarist belly cut there. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, whether you prefer clean, distorted, uh, middle, neck, bridge position. And... Um, yeah, just let me know what you think of these guitars. And if you've got one, let me know. Or if you've got uh, another Arbor series of a different model, let me know and try and get a, a definitive year on this. But yeah, that's about it for now. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, The Meat Manifesto. And that's about it for now. So, thanks for watching. See you all soon. Peace.